What's up, YouTube? My name is Isaac, and of course, today we're talking about enlightenment. Once again, an enlightenment is nothing more than a spontaneous alignment of our apparent self with our real self. The goal of the path is to make your apparent mind a mirror image of your real mind. The method is to slowly diminish our ego self until our real self can shine through. The world is divided into two categories, unfortunately, uh, people and human beings. Now, the only difference is people have not become aware that they're human beings. Nobody has shown them the way. The miseries we find in the world today are because people have not been shown that they're human beings. Unfortunately, these people hold themselves to a lower standard. And I don't mean anything by these people, of course. In order to become a human being, you must first find the path. And the sometimes difficult, but surest, and swiftest way to find the path is to look within. Uh, like Socrates with his daemon, uh, Pinocchio with his Jiminy Cricket, and Moby Dick's Captain Ahab, we must listen to the persistent whisperings of our own personal demon. The source of these whisperings is where our self resides. That's capital S, self. Universal consciousness. What the Hindus call Atman, capital A, Atman. The second stage of the Trinity of Enlightenment lies directly beyond the door of Dalet. It is this place we go after death of the body, to await rebirth. The inner voice starts out very rebellious, threatening mental stability, but mellows out over time, eventually becoming merely a minor annoyance, or in some cases merging its own destiny with the higher self, the divine self. Although occasionally frivolous and joyful, this daemon may become a reliable confidant, friend, and advisor. A characteristic of a wise demon is the capacity to do many things simultaneously. For example, conversing routinely in its own way, uh, while also orchestrating seemingly unlimited, individually discernible voices of a sublime celestial choir, vastly superior to any music ordinarily heard. We must always act swiftly and surely, even on faint, spontaneous impulses of intuition. There are customary daemon who will never misguide you or leave you. But be aware that the truth will forever elude you. Awakening is a journey, not a destination. Truth, capital T, Truth, is not available to any living person, however awake and enlightened that person may be. Enlighten, enlightenment, however the shade of brightness, infinitely bright or just a dim candle flicker, is only a milestone on the path to truth. Human beings are but disguises of what we truly are. So long as we are disguised, the truth remains inaccessible. The path begins narrow, but is forever broadening. The time will come when you are so aligned with truth that you cannot tell where you leave off and it begins. Your mind will gradually open and pi, the final stage of realization, will make itself known to you when you will slip willingly off to death knowing that death is but the portal of your resurrection. And it's not quite that serious, I assure you. All three emanated aspects of you, Self, capital S, Atman, capital A, and the Absolute, both capital T and capital A, will vanish, and only then will you be finished. On a side note, we have a science portion of the program today, and that is that the AFRL, Air Force Research Laboratory in Rome, New York, is working on a new form and method of quantum computation, in that before, using photons, for the quantum computer, uh, you would need an interferometer to uh, decode, or rather use the information within these photons. So this inter interferometer was basically the interpreter or the go-between between, between the photon and the actual physical material processes of the computer, but I digress. So what the Air Force Research Lab wants to do is to embed these interferometers holographically within panes of tempered glass. Um, and they would line these panes of glass up, one in front of the other, in order to process the information through these photons sequentially, and making uh, 
their computations that way. And so in lieu of programming, or rather, if I didn't use that word correctly, um, the programming software side of it will be these interferometers uh, that sort of process the data coming through the photons. Um, and this seems to be a very practical solution, and it's possible these, or very probable, that these uh, papers that I was uh, reading on PopSci and uh, RZIV, I believe, um, are forerunners, or uh, very definite precursors to a prototype, uh, which would mean that this technology is um, about to be made. So, uh, that's it for today. Uh, as always, I welcome comments, questions, and constructive criticism. Thank you.